Hey, what's up, YouTube? RV Tech Pro here. Finally got the 1500 out of the way. And uh, what was taking so long was I was waiting for this tool to arrive so that I can set the top dead center on cylinder one, which you have to do when you're changing out uh, a distributor. When you put the distributor in, it has timing marks on it. If, if you get a good one, if you get a cheap aftermarket one, it won't have this. So that mark right there, you, you turn the uh, distributor into these dots on the bottom, line up. And what'll happen is it'll set the, uh, if the button was on there, the button will be slightly pointing behind that arrow, which is another timing mark. And when you place it into the uh, the shaft and it hits the tab for the oil pump, it will slightly turn up and then it will be lined perfectly up with that arrow on the top side of the distributor. So all those timing marks have to be in place when you do a distributor on those trucks. Also, that does you no good and the truck will not start even if you do all of that, if you don't have the tr the engine of the truck in time with cylinder one being in top dead center on the compression stroke, okay? So that's why I needed this. I needed um, a tool so that I could know and the easiest one and then the most non-invasive way to do it in my experience is to use a whistle and that's what this is this is a, uh, a tdc whistle top dead center whistle and how it works is you plug this guy you remove the spark plug out of cylinder one and then you thread this in uh, as you can see it can work for two different size uh, bores on the uh, the plug and when you plug that in, you take your ratchet, a, a long ratchet. I use a big uh, half inch extended ratchet with the socket appropriate for the crank bolt and start to turn the engine over and the thing will start to whistle. It will whistle until it stops. And when it stops, that means you're at top dead center on that cylinder that you have it threaded into the spark plug hole. Um, after you do that, then you can reference the timing mark on the harmonic balancer and the, uh, the plate that's on the front of the motor. And you can see if you also are in line. So for me, it, it works well. Did it a couple times, made sure the first time my I got the whistle and I thought that it stopped, but the lines wasn't lined up. So I backed off and did it again and worked out perfect. So that's all for now. RV Tech Pro out.